the range of biodiversity that's preserved in museums like this really exceeds the, the kinds of things that we will be able to observe in the wild today because a lot of these specimens date from before humans really started to have such a large global impact on the ranges of different organisms, especially big things like mammals. What I do is I work on mammal evolution, both from a, a viewpoint of modern day biodiversity and also looking back into the fossil record to understand how mammals have evolved during their long history on the planet. Usually looking at the skull and how it responds to environmental changes, looking at patterns of diversity. And really to do that we need to understand what the shape of the skull is. So a collection like this one, which is um, almost 200 years old, actually preserves a lot of information about where we found different organisms and what they were like before kind of massive human population growth or the Industrial Revolution and globalization, which has really changed land use patterns and had you know, pretty detrimental effects on, on most mammals, at least, and certainly most organisms around the world. We have specimens of things like um, the thylacine or the marsupial wolf, Tasmanian tigers, as other people call it. And the last specimen of that uh, animal died in a zoo over 50 years ago. By looking at specimens that we have here, we can try to understand the biology of this animal um, since we'll never actually be able to um, observe it in, in the future. We really don't know what the effect of species going extinct in different ecosystems are. There's really complex interactions among different organisms um, in natural environments, and we have very little understanding of how that actually works. So potentially pulling species out could lead to collapses of various ecosystems, and that could actually have negative effects on resources that we rely on from those ecosystems. Habitat loss is probably the most important issue threatening biodiversity at the moment. So we can look at specimens here and compare them to ones we would find today and, and try to understand those changes and then try to understand how we have been impacted by diversity and maybe how we can try and alleviate some of those effects in the future.